yeah, you, you take two, just two, two eighteen volt. You connect it in series, and you get thir uh, you, you get thirty six volts. You can only multiply volts. You can never multiply the amp with the batteries. Now, I prove it. I'm making way more in electricity and electromagnetic or electro uh, static currents than what I'm putting in because I'm putting in a very small source of energy and I'm multiplying and multiplying. Now, if you, th if you study Tesla, Tesla is capability of, of, of amplifying energy is by a million times. So far what I did there, I could have done another Lulu experiment there and I can show you by using a full machine from you plug into the wall, I'm only getting so many volts. I put that machine, I plug into my Lulu unit, I'm doubling the output of the machine. Now for all the idiot out there, do I'm making more than what I'm putting in? Well, you know, you gotta shake your head a little bit because you know, sometimes stuff gets stuck up there. This technology has to go to everybody around the world. That will disconnect you, your own energy system. Everybody can have their own energy. They don't have to buy energy. They can produce their own energy. So what we'll do is we'll find out how like, much energy a battery at 36 volt will give me since this is a condensed bulb, 40 watt, 40 watt 120, it's a just rate element. So we'll find out how much those batteries, how much heat. Everything is about heat. If you don't have heat, you have nothing. You can have lots of volt, but no heat will get you nothing. This is just a little switch, two-speed switch, DC switch, on, off. So let's put that into maximum. So there again, here's my battery power. 36 volts, turning the bulb. Barely no heat. So we'll change that and see if we can run a 7 watt instead of 40 watts. That's the little fluorescent. Hmm. Not quite. All right. Let's see if we can run this LED bulb, which it costs about a fortune and a half. See, very dim. But it runs it. So now we're gonna do a change, and we're gonna run the 36 volts into a regular 24 volt motor. It will spin down at very high speeds, about 4,000 RPM. And we'll see what comes out the other end. Now we'll reconnect that here. A lot of connecting and deconnecting in this show. So you have to kind of be patient a little bit. We'll go back to a 40 watt bulb. Lots of heat coming out of here. Okay. Let's go to a 60 white bulb. It's a really big bulb, so it doesn't, it, the, the heat is pretty much controlled inside. But. You want to pass me the big twist over there? Thank you. Big twisty, that's a 40 watt twisty, it's about 12 years old since the almost one of the first one came out. Let's see. Works just fine. Now let's see how much lumen. This is supposed to produce what it says on it is 1065 lumen. That's a lot of lumen. Now, this is a lot of light compared 
to those battery was illuminating at really, really, really low. Now, we'll go back to the straight. Can you put that away since we don't need that? Thank you. And this one here. Thank you. I'll put the back the loop 40 watt bulb, which is a stove or an oven bulb. Now I dare anybody, and I like you to do that, to take it, your lamp, peel up the insulation of your wire, turn it on like this, and then go like this with your finger across the two bare wire and talk to me and see what is going to be the response. Because after maybe 30 seconds to a minute, someone's going to have to call 911. You will be dead. I can hold that all day long. Okay, because I'm not producing amperage. I'm producing electromagnetic watts. That means radiant watts. Good old-fashioned radiation. And that's what light up this bulb. He neutralizes itself, and I will show you. We'll go to voltage. I want to make sure they can see that. Okay. I'm going to pull the, the front out. I'm going to show you how much volt I'm pushing out right now. Can you read that? How much volt? Richard, can you read? Yeah, 134.8. I'm going to rebridge it. Okay. How many volts am I putting out? 1.4, 1, 1, no, it keeps going down, one, uh, 0 0.9, 0 0.8. It's zero. It's zero point seven. It turned itself off automatically. Yeah. Because this current is smart. You won't let itself burn. And that's what this current can do. Now I'm going to show you something. We're going to pick up, we're going to pick up the voltage. What I'm coming out. 134 volts. 134 volts, correct. Okay. Now watch that. <coughs> now I'm going to up it a little bit. We're going to use a small up transformer. We're going to crank this little puppy up to about 300 volt plus. Probably about 300 volt plus. We'll see. Okay. Again, now I'm going to go to the how much I got there. Uh, or it keeps going up. It's right now. It's at one out. Oh, three sixty-five. Three sixty-five. Three sixty-five volt. You don't want to touch that. It bites. It won't kill you, but it bites. Okay. Now I'm gonna take a thirty watt fluorescent tube, which is burnt. I burn it. I burn it so I can show you. I'm gonna hook up one wire to that. Not two. See those only work with two wire because it's an element on each end. This element is burned. I burn it directly on the plug. I will hook up the other end. That's a UV ball for a fish tank, which was burned. Doesn't look burned to me. No. Oh, because there's no gas in there, it's a vacuum. Lack of air makes the electron light up when it's on high voltage. Okay, that was a 30 watt. Let's try, I like those ones because they don't, they don't roll. Same here, I burn them up. One each side, and that's a 40 watt. is a vacuum, long as no gas in there, I can ignite the electron flowing through. This generator produces, it doesn't produce, it actually makes the electron manifest itself because I cannot make 
energy, natural energy, it's not something you make or manufacture, you have to make it manifest. This is actually not a generator, but it becomes a modulator for the electron to flow. So now, we will do something a little bit more sparky. Everybody think we have lots of juice. And high voltage can kill and destroy everything. This is a fully electronic ozone machine, an old one. I clean it up and fix it so it works. We are going to plug that behind you, that box right beside your foot there. That box, yeah, just right there, that's good. So, I will turn this on. As you see, the light is on. I'm making ozone already, that's negative ozone. I should have That's maximum output. Right? Yeah. That's all I got of that machine plug out of that wall. Now bring bring me the, 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 the line back. I'm gonna put 300 and some volt in it. See, I'm plugging my little transformer. Come on, Chinese stuff. As you can see, can you see that properly in the video? Yep. Okay. Now, we'll turn this on. I will use. Oh, here it is. I will turn it down because now it's going to be really sparking. I'm putting out more and I'm not burning the electronic in this box. You can smell the ozone from here. Can you smell it, Richard? Yeah. Okay. And I test this, this box for days on, days on, and it won't burn the electronic whatsoever. This power can run TV. You can take that off if you want there. You can run TV. You can run just about anything. And the nice thing about it is you will never burn a light bulb again. Doesn't matter if it's condensed bulb, fluorescent bulb, LED bulbs. Matter of fact, this little thing I test on some LED, small LED light. If I would put 10 million little LED bulbs and cover my whole ceiling, this tiny little thing would light up the whole ceiling. You would not be able to stand here. That's what Radiant Watt is. No. But around the wire, I'm sending an oscillation into the battery. And remember, those batteries are very fragile. I burnt one already. If you discharge to zero, you cannot recharge this battery. The garbage. But, you know, that's what lithium batteries are very really good, very really hot, but they cannot go down. And I'm going to run an AC oscillation through the battery. It will take a few seconds here. It takes a while for the oscillation, for the battery to accept the oscillation first. You can't push anything because it's a computer, uh, 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 it's a, a multifunction chips in those batteries who runs equal amount of juice on all the stack of batteries. It's always muttering itself. If you one need a little bit, they will discharge from voltage into the other one. So we all good with that. AC, AC. All right. There we go. Now we're slowly going. It takes a while. It's not instant. But listen, that's technology people don't have and and here I have oscillating DC battery 
This technology, we don't have that here. So what's happening right there? AC current so AC going current? through a and DC, DC battery. battery. Okay. Now, do you imagine what a little bit of research what I could do? We could use battery, AC currents, battery, because AC motor is 10 times more efficient than a DC motor. So all those new drone out there, they run out of battery all the time. If they were using AC battery, they would run 10 times longer for the same mass, the same weight. Hi, my name is Gerard Morin. I've been uh, studying Tesla as AC current for roughly around about 10 to 15 years on and off. And then I took some time off a straight 10 months of my life to be able to uh, do what I'm going to be showing you what I'm doing with the alternative currents. Um, what I'm having is, is actually an alternative current but not the same currents you guys are used to from the plug of your house. It's actually an electrostatic current. Not a, I'm not producing any hemp or any normal watt. I'm producing what this tester used to call radiant watts. So, I'm going to show you how it works. I got two 36 volt, a uh, 218 volt battery DC, who up in series to make 36 volts. It's my primary, and you just need something to spin this tiny little thing here. So it will, this will spin roughly around about 4,000 RPM because it's 24 volt DC, and I'm putting 36 volt into it. So let's see what happens when I turn this off. Now that's an AC bulb current, 40 watts, so refrigerator or stove bulb, and it's very simple. This is a one for the detecting AC current. As you see, in here, it's AC current. Alright, now this watt is actually until it is bolted. We'll remove that, put that here. We'll use a twisty, which is a fluorescent twisty, which is actually electronic ballast, which is a small computer. We'll put that on. And there you go. But something interesting happened. It's no longer AC. It became DC square wave. This one won't pick it up. Alright, and it's full blowing. This thing only produced roughly about 30 watt, radiant watt, 30 watt only. We'll change that. Now we'll put this new fancy dancy $40 ball. It's an LED ball. It produced about a thousand lumen plus and it runs 120 volts, 60 cycle. Let's see if it turns out. That's a thousand watts of lumens, as you can see. Lots of light. Works just fine. Let's change. Now, as we know, DC motor, this is a pancake DC motor, an experiment motor from China. I managed to put my hand in one of those. It's a 60 volt DC motor. With brushes. It's a 500 watt output and to get 500 watt output you gotta put 2000 watt into it in DC volts. That's mean 20 amp. Now I'm gonna use a slight step up transformer. Oh actually no I'm not. I'm gonna go directly. This is a part I, 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 I took from an old burnt out uh, battery charger for wheelchair, 24 volt battery charger. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to hook it up one bleed to one of the diodes, called leaky diode. The other lead to one of the wire for the motor. And another lead from any place of that piece of aluminum with the diode is leaking on into the outer prong of the motor. 
Hmm, let's see if we that turn that. Now, here's the motor. DC motor. Transformer, so I'm double stepping. One more. There's lots of connection here, so you have to be patient with me a little bit. Crazy. Yeah, if I 
to the point where, right? Eh? Now, those are burn light bulb, by the way. That's a burn bulb, light bulb. Yeah, the burn. They don't work no more. They're garbage. They go to the landfill. Now, just with this one, I'm going to bring a brand new one I bought and I burn it differently. You can see the mark where it's burned. Oh, yeah. If you hook it up to normal ballast, it won't work. Now, let's see. How much can I make this work? That's going I'm to only step, step up transformer. Yeah, just one little step up transformer. Now I'm just going to hook it up to one groove, one loop pin, and one loop pin here. Normal won't work, right? The law of physics in Newton that should not work. Nothing wrong with this fluorescent bulb, as you can tell. Works just fine. We've been lying to you. The light from as high as the top of your province or country. If you, if you the scientists out there do not know what I'm doing, then we have a problem. You should be removing, being removed from being scientists, especially when it comes to electricity. That's, and not only that, if you run static currents, I and mean, your electronics and your lighting system, your light bulb will last hundreds of years. They will never burn. Your electronic, unless it's a moving part to wear out, it will never burn. It will last forever. Now, you want to see some real technology? which cost millions of dollars for company to come up with. First thing, we're going to take a reading of voltage. What I'm really putting out of this little thing. A hundred and thirty two point three volt AC, as you can see. Now, let's see. With about five seconds of intelligence, how can I boost this engine to make it more efficient? Hmm. I want you to listen to it. Now remember, 130 volt output. Okay. I got 154 volt output, 155 volt output. I just put nitro in this motor, in this DC magnet motor. Okay, here we go. Five seconds of technology. How much that cost? Nothing, except ten months of my and my life. Now what we're gonna do with that here? We all know. That's really hot. It will come up to top normal temperature. Now we're going to do something. New technology. I don't know. Maybe it's from alien technology. I don't know. My wife always told me I was part alien. And sometimes I start to believe in her. Step up again. And we'll light up the rail color full blast this burnt fluorescent tube instantly. There you go. That's great. This bulb is burnt. Doesn't work anymore. Apparently. Good for the garbage. And it will last forever. Now let's go to a way higher technology. Those are cobalt magnet. One ounce each of solid cobalt magnet. Put them in your palm, sure. Okay. All right.
Now it takes about a minute. Now the only that's all the instrument I use to do research. A one for AC current. A professional amp and voltmeter and ohm, which I never use the ohm anyway. And a laser thermometer, because I like to get the temperature. Temperature tells you a lot of things about anything, right? Now the temperature, I will convert that to Fahrenheit. Okay, now we're taking the temperature of the table is 64 degrees Fahrenheit, which everything is 65, 65, it's the, it's the temperature of the room, so everything is room temperature. Now why the temperature rising? Slowly into the magnet. It takes about two minutes. And those magnets, well, give them a chance and those magnets will get hot. It takes two minutes, two ounces of solid magnets. Ooh, another shock. That was a shock or a heat? No shock. Okay, now the magnets start to react. See the temperature? 67, 69, 68, 69. Sometimes the magnet, they have the loop of a starter. We'll give it a minute and see how much how much temperature we we bring into it. Can you explain maybe these are new batteries here. What are those? Are those batteries are just regular. They're my tools battery for my amp pack and my drill. They're 18 volts DC. 18 volts DC, DC. at 1.1 amp per hour. To 71 degrees, slowly, slowly going up. They're stubborn today for some reason. Last night I had a 260 degrees. It's so going up. It's going up slowly. Now I'm, I'm heating up cobalt magnet just by an oscillation with high voltage. Now those magnet normally. They heat up to 265, 270 degrees. I didn't want to heat it up more than I want because I don't know exactly what is going to happen if I pass the 300 degrees. Uh, it's cobalt, and I don't know the element of that cobalt, particular cobalt. But I like to see anybody try to heat up two ounces of solid magnets, even changing one degree of difference with putting two new wires sticking to it. This is just a switch on and off to speed. Now we're at 84, 88 degrees. It's going up. We're going to go back. Now why, why, should this be going up? It should not go up. It should not go It's nothing in a scientific field would say you can heat up two ounces of solid mass with high voltage, not that I know. And this is technology, like this here is technology that can be pushed with a couple of nerds in a lab, can be, can be pushed so far up. Oscillating battery, I'm sure someone have used for oscillating DC power, battery power. Uh, Bulb will last forever, electronic will last forever. And I'm not making any electricity, I'm making it's called electromagnetic currents. And it creates 
a radiant watt, like Tesla used to say, radiant watt will not kill you. It's a friendly, natural energy around you. All I'm making here is I'm making a manifest. See how far we are here? 942 degrees, 130 degrees, 148. Pretty hot. It's getting hot there. At 158 degrees, water boils. If you know, if you don't know your uh, your temperature, okay. Now the big magic. Everybody's going to ask me, what is got in this new magic box? Must be Houdini or Chris, whatever his name, he like to play or something. Or oh, Angel. Okay, Chris Angel. What is Chris Angel? It's not here. I'm sorry. <laughs> but this here is very simple. You know, those ba those those things will go to 200 degrees. So it's no sense running any longer than that. Try to pick up this magnet. Touch it. Yeah, they're hot. You can't pick them up. Okay? Now, here's some technology I came up in 10 months with my own money. If there's anybody out there who have some ball, there's no sense patenting all that. This technology has to go to everybody around the world. That will disconnect you, your own energy system. Everybody can have their own energy. They don't have to buy energy. They can produce their own energy. Now everybody want to know what's in that box. Where did I put this tiny little thing? Sorry for my mess, that's my lab. My, my. Here is my, my fuel cell. A single face magnet. And it's not even a good magnet, it's, it's a ceramic magnet. Ferrite magnet. Now if this magnet was ten times stronger than that, this little power unit here would power all my light and my house, including my sound, surrounded sound, my, my DVD player, my radio, my TV, whatever you feel like it. All with that? All with this tiny little thing. Now, if you give me a couple of nerd and a few dollars, we can eliminate all that. I can power your car. I have designed because an electric motor is the most inefficient motor we have. Tesla didn't build a efficient motor because he had lots of power behind him because he was trying to power the world. I'm not trying to power the world. I'm trying to power one house at a time by itself and get it off the grid. Power one car at a time, no battery recharging. You know Tesla car? Well Tesla car, you know what I call them? A battery operated dildo. When the battery are dead, you got to finish it by hand because you have no way to come back home when your battery are dead. Why having a battery operated when you can make your own power with an alternative current and have an alternative current motor which is 10 times better than a DC motor to run your car? There again, new technology, airplane, boat, motorcycle, you name it, I can power everything with a single magnet. Because the word, the magic word is called oscillation of an electromagnetic field. Actually, not an electromagnetic field because that's wrong. Electro, that means I have to induce a piece of stuff to make a magnet. It's just a magnet, uh, an, an elect, uh, an, a, a magnet field, north and south, spinning at a high rate, will create the oscillation. So, if there's anybody out there who argue what I'm doing, I like to tell to, 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 for anybody to come in and prove me wrong. Because if he can make light up, burn fluorescent who goes into the garbage and highly polluted our world because of that, not the gas, because there's no gas in it, it's a vacuum. The, the, the coating is the poison inside. But if you don't have to change it all the time, Unless you break it, you will never have to change it. So here's a go. If anybody have a chance, if they need more information, they can contact and they can come straight to me and I can redo this test over and over and over and over again. So folks, 
There it is. New technology available for everybody. All I need is some help because I can't fight this war by myself. It's a big war and I'm only one person. So, uh, yeah, it's that simple, folks. Energy is, is free if you have the apparatus to make it manifest. The word is manifestation. Please look it up in the dictionary and you'll know what it means. If you don't know the meaning of the word, you're a peasant and you will stay a peasant for the rest of your life. And you will be a slave to the system to feed you and to take care of you. Now this thing will break you up from the slavery because 80% of our cost of living is directly to the cost of energy. So there you go folks, my name is Gerard and don't be afraid, I'm here all the time. Thank you. Hi folks, it's me again. Now here we go into where I live. This is a breaker box for the electrical of the whole system. Everybody, since they have the smart meter, everybody their bill went skyrocket. Well, I can't have figured out how it works now. Since I've been studying Tesla for over 10 years, since Tesla invented the AC currents, the making and the distribution of the AC currents, which was bought by Westinghouse in the early 1900s. Now, all that's I got a level probably about 400 amp directly from the transformer coming through here to the meter and, and, and to my box. And my box, the breaker is 125 amp, so that's the maximum of my box, 125 amp. Now, what I don't understand is, is when the ground wire suddenly, when I put my meter, I'm showing the amp I'm using which is right now on that wire I'm, I'm pulling 3.5 amp and this wire I'm pulling barely nothing because I'm not pulling anything so but what is funny is why my 3.5 amp or 3.2 3.3 amp is going back directly into the ground wire no the ground wire that one is not hooked up to the ground it's hooked up directly to the meter and up in the air and back to the pole. The sucking the same amount of amp almost back into the power plant or the power station and fitting it back to you. So you're paying over and over and over for the same power you're using. Now it's not a hot amp anymore because see I can put my finger on it and I don't get electrocuted but it's the same type of power that goes back into the pole to the secondary line, your ground line, but the top line is fed with a static current, electrostatic currents, which is the same static currents going through that thing. If I'm not, I can touch it and I won't die. And that's why the people who inspect the big power line with millions of volts on it, they can actually get dropped with a chopper on the line and walk on the line when the power is on and they don't die. The bird can land on the line, they don't die unless they ground themselves between the two lines. There's no danger whatsoever. So, long time ago when the power was distributed, it was only one line coming up, a single wire coming out to your house. And we're lighting up all what we had electric in those days. And our ground, it was ground, earth ground. But now they change that. They make it really smart. Now they create a demand, which is a flow. Current on electricity doesn't mean what they tell you they mean. They mean direction, just like a river. The current of a river, if it goes south, it goes south, it goes north, it goes north. It's the direction the water flow. Electricity is just like water. It flow. So we have a current here because this here is reading the current. And why? I'm reading 3 amp because now there are radian amp, radian watts. They still read them. We still have power. I, this thing I can put that in a transformer and reuse my own power. And that's how the power company rip you off. They make you pay for 3.5 amp as I'm using it and take it back. They create a flow of current not coming to you, but going to the station. 
So that's mean they're sucking the, the power right through your equipment and reselling it to you. That's a pretty good business. Business like this, I call that hmm, gangster business. See, no kidding. You know, you're getting ripped off. What I figure, they should be paying back the people at least a quarter of a million dollars for everybody who's ever be registered with BC Hydro with power because they've been ripping them off constantly. And on the smart meter, so the smart meter give you some kind of frequency and screw you up and stuff like that. I'm not too worried about that because I don't have a smart meter in my hand to take it apart and study. But I know the old day, you, on your 240, you were getting charged for the highest draw of the wire, uh, line one or line two. The smart meter and BC Hydro got really greedy. They decided to charge you for bolt wire, which is stupid because the two wire bridge like this to create 240, and that's one in between, so it's not going anywhere. So that's where it don't, it doesn't come back into the line. So now they charge you for line one and line two. So if you hook up 220, you will have maybe 10 amps here and 10 amps there. So they charge you for 20 amps. Now, your kilowatt hours is 100 watts, which is one amp. Duration of using for 10 hours equal one kilowatt. If you don't believe me, read your bill. It's on it. You don't have to be a rocket scientist. All you know is how to read. So I'm pretty sure most people learn how to read. You're all educated. You all have a grade 12. By the way, I didn't finish my grade 5. I got bored at school because they were not teaching me anything I didn't know. So therefore, that's how we are getting screwed. Thank you. All right. Now, what you're going to see here, you're going to see, I'm going to turn that to volt, AC volt. Now, see, it went up from 130, and it goes down to, to 1.8, 1.7, 1.5, 1 1.3 volt AC constant volt of this tiny little antenna. Now this plays into everything that you're talking about, right? Yeah. We have energy. We we are walking into a sea of straight electron who goes through your bodies. Matter of fact, if we didn't have this electron go through our bodies, you will die. You will run out of electricity in your body and probably 72 hours you would not be able to get up. You would die. If the sun would stop turning or stop brightening, we have three days. We will freeze to death, but more likely our, electricity, our electrical system of our body will stop to work. The only source of energy in this solar system is the sun. You remove the sun from the equation of the solar system, we don't have a solar system. We do not have life, period. So here's my proof. 1.2, 1.3 volt constantly, and there's no machine here. Look. I'm so, to explain right from the top here, it comes this right from here. Two pounds of copper wire, which I flared up and I hook up one wire to the end. And then I got an iron rod on the ground, about eight inch deep. Okay. A wire tied up to this iron rod, who comes here, so the wire are not tied up together. And that's all. It's so as simple as that. You're now, pulling electricity right from now, there. Now, if I would have a mass about a hundred or two hundred pounds of copper in the air, I would probably get about 120 volts. AC constantly. The energy is around you. It's free. When I mean free, it's free. Now for all the idiots don't know what the word free is, look it up in the dictionary. You know, everybody's got a grade 12 but they don't know how to read or don't know how to count. Well, it's time to learn, because if you don't, you will be a peasant for the rest of your life. Hi, my name is Gerard Morant. I was born in Northern Quebec in Abitibi, Amos, Quebec. I have three months into my grade five when I decided to quit school because I was learning garbage. So I just decided to go to work instead and learn it by my own way. So... 
What we did today, all the demonstration you will see in this video is very simple. This, I'm trying to wake up the world, not just one person, two person. How we've been ripped off from the beginning of the beginning of electricity and energy and oil and gas and polluting. The technology I came up with in 10 months, 10 months with my own money, my own time. I can cut the pollution by a hundred percent in less than five years. If you guys want to live in this planet, if we keep on polluting the way we are, we don't have 500 years left. We have a very limited time because we're going to be running out of clean water, we're going to be running out of power, we're going to we were swimming in a world of soot and pollution. How much more pollution? Do you have to breed? Do you have to eat through the food, through the animal we eat? And, and everything else the big corporation put into, into it. You can't even drink milk anymore. It's poison to you. But if you go and take a glass of fresh milk from a cow, you don't have problem with the milk. It doesn't give you any, any stomach problem. It's just we're living in a world of stupid, a world of ignorance. No intelligence whatsoever comes out of the school system. The school system is just to create a bunch of zombies, peasants, because peasants do not ask questions. They go to work every morning. I mean, I tell everybody, I said, we're just a 21st century. We, we are slave with three weeks pay holiday. And the government and the, and the corporation keep us busy to feed us with this garbage they're giving us so we need to live, that's what they tell us. We need that to live, so we have to go to work for them, so we can buy the stuff, so they can take the money back to, from, from us. Energy is 80% of the cost of everything around this planet. If you don't believe me, do the math. If you know how to count, one, two, three, four, you know, simple arithmetics. Don't use mathematics. It doesn't get you nowhere. It'll get you right back to where you're living today, which is stupid. We're living in a stupid world. Now, if there's anybody out there is willing to come up and take a good walk with me on that road, I'm more than welcome to invite anybody. This technology is for everybody to use. It's really easy to, to be done, and there we go, you know. So, so you've, showed, you've showed this technology to people, and what, what, have, what has their reaction been so far? Um, well, if we, uh, they don't understand why I can light up burn bulb, burn fluorescent. And I, I proved it yet in, in a video earlier that they're stealing from you. They're selling you the same power over and over and over. Well, this is called robbery. I like to see anybody coming up and say, that's not robbery. When you're selling the same stuff over, 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 and it doesn't cost you to manufacture it. So, okay. So for people who saw the video earlier, when you were showing all the technology, you're actually showing the lighting of the bulbs and how the different setup was. For people who look at that and see just a, a couple batteries and some wires and, and a couple uh, items and motors that they don't really know what it is, why should they be exciting? What what happened from the beginning to the end, and why is that exciting? From the front of the from the back where the batteries were to the actual a light bulb lighting up or whatever. What it should be exciting, it, they should look at the bill in the end of the month, hydro bill and gas consumption, they need to go to work to make more money so they can pay the hydro bill, the energy bill. Now when I say energy bill, everything you buy is energy tacked up to it because it took energy to manufacture, it took energy to move it, right? And then the greed goes over it and of course we cannot afford to breed anymore. Now, they, they finally find a way to make us pay for the air we breathe, which is polluted, but we have to pay for the air we breathe. It's called that carbon tax. Now, if everybody can argue that with me, bring it on. I can argue that all day long. It's everybody wants to find out and get free. Get the shackle off your legs. So, at the beginning, though, with the batteries, you started with 18 volts. Yeah, you, you take two, just two, two 18 volts, you connect it in series. And you get uh, you, you get 36 volts. You can only multiply volts. You can never multiply the amp with the batteries. Now, I prove it. I'm making way more in electricity and 
electromagnetic or electrostatic uh, currents than what I'm putting in because I'm putting in a very small source of energy and I'm multiplying and multiplying. Now, if you, t if you study Tesla, Tesla is capability of, of, of amplifying energy is by a million times. So far what I did there, I could have done another Lulu experiment there and I can show you by using a full machine from you plug into the wall, I'm only getting so many volts. I put that machine, I plug into my Lulu unit, I'm doubling the output of the machine. Now for all the idiots out there, do what I'm making more than what I'm putting in? Well, you know, you got to shake your head a little bit because, you know, sometimes stuff gets stuck up there. All you got to do is count on your hand. You get ten finger, not nine, unless you get one, cut one finger off. So you use that mathematics or that arithmetics and calculate what is going on here. I mean... So now what, what, is, your, what, is, your, um, what is your hope after, after this gets public? After people see this and they understand that what's happening here is goes hope, against all the conventional thinking? I hope my people actually grow some brain. Because I know it's some brain, some, some, some stem cells still left in there who can mature. And then the biggest thing is to grow some ball. The people who became ballless. Uh, we're living in a society of cowards. Because no one want to shake the boat or rock the boat. Screw rocking the boat. I want to flip the boat upside down and get all those idiots to swim to shore. You had to grow a ball, learn how to swim in 30 seconds, or for the next three minutes, you will drown to death. Now, you, you've already run into people that were uh, that have come over here and confirmed what you're, what you're showing, and they've been amazed by it, but they've been, they've been afraid to come public with it. I have a friend of mine is a physicist. He's got doctor, PhD. He's got enough paper to paper well my walls. He cannot explain exactly what's going on. All he knows is... I'm doing something different than everybody who is, has never been really researched. Well, it's never been researched because no one wants to research. Tesla had it. Tesla was capable of doing it. But the problem with Tesla, he made a very bad decision. It's to power the world all at once. I don't want to do that. I want to power one person at a time. Let that person to be free. Okay, so now let's say someone's watched, watched these videos, many people will, and they see that you've done something that goes against conventional thinking. It's, it, what's happening is not actually supposed to be happening. So what, what's the next step for them? What, I, what, what, it, why do they want, what can they do to help? What can they do to get involved? Well, actually, it is going to the natural. I'm using a natural energy. Their system, the way they design it, they use a natural energy and convert it to electricity it will kill you. And then they make you pay dearly for it. Natural energy is all around you. Why can we not use something who's natural? Conventional. Well, my apparatus just align the system. It takes the electrons and just flip them. Because an electron is a tiny little particle with the shape of an oval disk which spin at the speed of light. And then when you put two electrons together and you flip one like this, now you reverse the rotation from one to the other. You have two electromagnetic field. It's called magnetic wind. who rub against each other and create heat. And that's what radian, radian watt is. Now, all the physicists out there, they're probably going to say I'm crazy. But I'm going to ask you something. No one is able to take a picture. We have the camera recorded speed of light. We have the capability of recording speed of light. So what can it can record an electron? Because they're too blind to see it. As you see in the film, I'm passing 400,000 volts of pure electrons through my body. Don't feel nothing because it's natural. It's probably millions of volts going through my body as I sit in the sun today. I don't die. Matter of fact, I need the sun to live. It's a natural element. All you have to do is have an apparatus who call this electrons, like I don't call myself, this unit you saw, a generator, is a modulator. It modulates, that means it arranges the electron to a certain position, it gives you a natural energy. 
It's that simple. And so at some point in that process, once it's going, you could get rid of the original two 18-volt batteries. Oh, yeah. And you no. wouldn't even need that. All I need is a couple of nerd. I, sorry, nerd. I don't mean any, any, any respect, but, you know, get it called the way it is. You guys are good at what you do because you have a passion for it. If I had a couple of nerd, electrical nerd and electronic nerd, in about three months, we would be driving around the world with a vehicle and the only thing you would be changing is the tires and the brakes. Only in the moving part where we're out, you will never run out of energy and you will not have to recharge your batteries. We are that sample. If I had a lab with a couple of people and some money behind me, not billions, my God, billions. No, no, no. We're talking about maybe a couple of hundred grand. In 10 months, you would have electric motor who runs in car and they only use one battery to get it starting like you have now and that's it. He produces his own power and you can have as many horsepower. I have designs called that an electro, electromagne, electro, sorry, electromagnetic impulse engine which have no brush. It's like a multi-phase motor, actually, but I'm pushing natural electron into it, which is very powerful. You can make this motor spin almost the speed of a turbine, 100, 200, 400,000 RPM. A tiny little motor, about six inch long and this big, will develop over a thousand horse at the shaft, on demand, and more likely run with about mm, a nine volt batteries. Wow. So, because you're using word processing is we're gathering the electron around you and this with the energy. How are you going to run out of electron? You explain to me how you're going to run out of free electrons. Only when the sun stops shining. So you're not taking that and making electricity like they've been doing. No. You're, you're just taking that and, and manifesting it. When Westinghouse bought the patent from, from Tesla, they could not charge people for something you cannot make because they had a rules and regulation in those things. So Tesla had to add a third brush to his system. All Tesla's unit, or all brush. Tesla was a genius man. He taught me so much. But the technology I got to have brushless and I'm totally reversed in Tesla. I believe, you want to transmit, I believe in about a week with a, with a lab, a week, I can take a, direct, a directional antenna and stick a fluorescent tube in the field as far as you want as long as my antenna is capable of pushing there and I will put the antenna to the fluorescent tube and it will light up because that's how they communicate directional see energy runs linear horizontal not vertical horizontal so if you want to send some energy all you got to do is use an antenna, a high gain antenna, a, a, not a receiving antenna. We don't need a receiving antenna. The fluorescent is a receiving antenna. As long as one end is stuck to the ground, the other end is sticking up, that's the antenna. Now I have a transmitting antenna. A transmitting is one who actually sends the signal. We're living in a world of antenna. We have millions of different bandwidth going through our bodies from cellular microwave, radar, you know, everything is all linear. It's that simple. Like I say, you know, just stop about, you know, all the process that we're using today because a lot of times they're just lying to us. It's all a, de a deception. Okay, so with, with, with back to the, uh, uh, this part, the other part that we've, the demonstration you've shown. Let's say someone sees this, they like it, they want to help. What can they do? They just want to email you? Come and see me. Okay. I'm not a ghost. You see me, you touch me, you shake my hand. I'm so they, they can start by, by emailing you, eh? Well, whatever we set up, they can contact, you can contact, you know, through that. You know? You come to me with, in a friendly mode, I'll be very friendly. I might give, give you, you know, a cake, piece of cake and coffee. <laughs> you come to me with an attitude, remember. I can multiply that attitude by a million times. So just be friendly. I'm a friendly guy. If you want to learn something, come and see me. We'll go through the demonstration. You know, if you, you have any question, ask me. You know, no one will, 
will, will, will kill you by asking questions. That's how you learn. When you were a kid, you know the biggest question in the world when you're a kid? Why? Why? My kid asked me that question to drive me nuts. Because it's one of the hardest questions to answer is why. And it's the biggest question of the whole world.